And we'll stay with China for the moment. We've discussed the CCP's war on religion quite frequently on the show. It's persecution of Muslims, Buddhists and Christians. Tonight, I want to share the story of Jews in China. Yes, they exist there. And like every other religious minority, they too are under attack in China. Their synagogues have been destroyed. Their scriptures have been erased from walls. China does not even recognize Judaism as an official religion. But now calls to acknowledge the plight of these Chinese Jews are growing. The onus is on Israel, which considers China an important business partner, but has done virtually nothing to protect the Jews of China. Our next report tells you why. China's war on religion is well documented. From Islam to Buddhism to Christianity. No religion has been spared from the CCP's sinistication campaign. But did you know that China is also persecuting Jews, subjecting them to heavy controls in order to erase their identity? This is happening in Kaifeng, a city in China's Henan province. Since the 7th century, a small community of Jews has lived in this city. They arrived from Persia through the Silk Road, found a welcoming environment of tolerance and assimilated into Chinese society over the centuries. Today, about 2,500 of them remain in Kaifeng, and they're increasingly under attack. Since December 2020, the CCP has undertaken a systematic campaign to erase any evidence of their historical presence in Kaifeng. Jewish exhibits at local museums have been removed. The remains of ancient synagogues have been destroyed. Hebrew scriptures have been taken off the city's walls and all overseas groups built for support have been banned. Their treatment is emblematic of the CCP's suppression of every faith. But the Jews of Kaifeng face extra challenges. Because they're not even recognized by the Chinese state. Officially, the CCP allows only five religions to exist under the state's control. Buddhism, Taoism, Islam, Protestantism, and Catholicism. Other religions, including Judaism, are considered illegal and exist as underground communities. They have no choice but to comply with the CCP's whims. What's worse is that they can't even migrate to Israel, because their Chinese descent makes them unfit for citizenship under Israel's law of return. According to the Jerusalem Post, the Israeli embassy in Beijing does not reach out to the community, nor does it seek to plead their cause with the Chinese regime. China and Israel are close business partners. But the Jewish state has done virtually nothing to protest the treatment of Kaifeng's Jews in China. Bureau report, we on, World is One. We on is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.